donuts here. So I'm seeing lately that there's a lot of people making masks on YouTube and not all of them are accurate. Consider this, you can get from Home Depot this FPR filter. The FPR is not tested by third party. Home Depot do not tell you the size for which they consider big particles or the size for which they consider are small particles. So I suggest to go with industry standards. Either go with MERV rating or the NPR rating. And what I found today at my local Target was NPR 1500. Let's see what it equates to. NPR 1500. And it captures virus and bacteria at 54%. It seems to be a little bit better than MERV 12. And it equates to about a MERV 13. MERV 13 begins to capture 1 micron to 0.3, that's nanoparticles. Now according to this website, and according to research actually, from Minnesota, uh, when particles get down to nano sizes, they bounce around. Now because nanoparticles bounce around, they're more likely to get trapped in the fibers of your mask. When filter captures particles in this way, scientists call it diffusion. So how effective is diffusion? According to research from University of Minnesota, HEPA filters show that 99.99% .99 capture rate for particles smaller than 5 nanometers. Even though the coronavirus is 0.1 nanometers, I wouldn't say this mask can replace N95 masks, but serve as a precautionary measure in case you have to go out. Here I'm using a stapler, the filtrate filter, and the strings on the paper bags. the bottom of the box, you can see the confirmation of MERV 12 and it's exactly 54% for 0.3 to 1 micron size particles. sides are just held on by light glue so you can just push them off I'm using a surgical mask to measure the size Make sure to pull off the filter from both sides and from the side skirts. Cut a little more than measured 
because I want the mask to be able to fold as well. Here I'm just cutting up some cardboard pieces left over from the box to use on the sides. Now we just need to staple the filter onto the cardboard for reinforcement. Next, we remove the back handles from the paper bag. staple each side
last part, we're going to remove the barbed wires. bury the wires on top of our masks so that it can wrap around our nose. Let me know what you think of it. Comment below and give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks for watching.